most of y'all think that y'all in monogamous relationships, but it was never a conversation. So you're really not. What you have created in your own mind is the sense of ownership. Because the conversation was never had that it's going to be me and you, these are our boundaries, this is what we're this going to we adhere to. Or we consider exactly. stepping out. And if you do this. Exactly. Then yes. you cheat. Yes. See, monogamy is predicated, oftentimes, is predicated on lying and manipulation. That's why when they step outside of that, even though the conversation was never had, it is cheating. Is ma masturbation cheating? Is watching pornography cheating? That conversation was never had. Y'all never set boundaries for monogamy that worked for y'all. Y'all had this idea in your head. And so when your partner didn't adhere to your in guidelines. inherently <laughs> retarded guidelines. And I'm going to say it. No. <laughs> it's, it's stupidity. Because you are... You are sabotaging your own relationship before it even gets started. Mm -hmm. I'm big on conversation. I'm big on conversation. And I tell I tell the family all the time, I haven't always been there. I, I Of course, I had to grow into it. Um, but one of the biggest cons for monogamy is that, is the manipulation, is the lying. Of course, that goes into cheating. What is considered cheating? Mm -hmm. You know, uh, um, the mani manipulation factor, the entitlement factor. You know, saying because we get into monogamous relationships with this sense of entitlement. You know, and, and because of our sense of entitlement, you know, well, I got you. I ain't got to do nothing. Mm -hmm. You should just be happy that I'm here. Yeah, and in a in in a, a con, you know, kind of touching on that is, you know, when you cheat or step out or do whatever, you're you're incorporating and adding someone into the picture and into essentially into both your guys' lives that does not have your best interest in mind usually, you know what I'm saying, or is unaware of situations or doesn't give a crap, you know what I'm saying? And so you're you added someone, whether you like it or not, to your relationship, you know by stepping out and not discussing or or talking you know with your significant other and, and, and like i said you're adding someone that does not have your best interest or your family's best interest or anyone's best interest in mind by doing that and so when you so it it's cheating obviously like if you have considered yourself to be in a monogamous a monogamous relationship and so by you know i'm saying like stepping out and adding but if someone, that conversation was not had it is not cheating no, I get what you're saying, technically. I, I mean, I understand the conversation because, that we see just here, had. Because, see any relationship is based on a verbal or written contract. Yeah. So, if we never had that verbal contract, what can you hold me to? What you set up in your head? I'm not a mind reader. So, because you have this lucrative fantasy or situation on how it's supposed to be in your mind but you was afraid to sit down and have a conversation with me because you were afraid of my response yes and i think that when people so, hold on, hold on. so if you're afraid of my response if that's your man do you respect him yeah then you would want to know what is going on in his head yeah, a hundred percent. But yeah, obviously, it might not be what we want to hear, um, because you because then once you hear it and you know what their thoughts and what their stance is, then you got to do something with it. Then you got to then you have to like you then you have to either stay and and deal with it and figure it out and accept it and and work around it and or you got to leave. And so yeah, once it's spoken and once it's out there, then then it's on you. So, let me read a couple monogamous relationships, okay? This is outside of the conversation being had 
of the agreed upon structure of that particular relationship does it not create possessiveness I mean in a way we can we can say yes or no yes or no I mean yes okay yes does it not create entitlement I wouldn't say entitlement honestly I wouldn't say entitlement I mean I don't think I'm entitled to you if we I mean I don't think I'm entitled do, do we not feel that we're entitled to our significant other if we are in a monogamous relationship I, I, I just don't like the word entitled because it, I it don't, don't matter <laughs> we feel entitled to that individual right or wrong I mean I guess we'll I guess we'll say entitled <laughs> but I don't really I don't really yes or no <laughs> yes okay ownership no see I won't go I won't go with ownership so I don't feel like when I you're ever so when you're in a rela- when women are in a relationship with a man don't they don't feel you. that that man owes them anything. They don't. F- That's why I said entitlement and ownership are synonymous with one another. No, because I don't think it's. I don't like. It shouldn't be looked at as you owe me something. It's looked at as we're working together. We've chose to be here together, and we're going to. I'm going to do for you what I can and what you need, and your and vice versa. But it's not going to be. But if you feel like you have to do it because. If you don't want to do it and it's not something that you know is going to bring happiness to me and you want to bring happiness to me and I want to bring it to you and I want us to have, you know, the best relationship, then then it shouldn't then we shouldn't be together. It should never feel like ownership. Like yeah, you don't owe me like you don't owe me anything and you don't So the general sense is that ownership is not induced into a relationship. No, I don't I don't believe it. That's a lie. Because have a woman walk out on a man and see what happens. Let me walk out on we, a man, we, like. When we're in a monogamous relationship, it is a sense of ownership. This is I why. Mean, it's a sense of. It, it, so it goes back to that. It goes back to what you I think just, you are with each other. So is, it a, is it. A, no, is it's not ownership. Okay. It's All not right. ownership. It's, it, it, it's that agreement that you have with each other. You're mine. You're not to have this or to have this with is, anyone else. And if general you do, relationships do not have a set upon agreement. I'm saying if you have that, if you've discussed that. How many and, people you know actually no, sit I, down? I understand that. But exactly. a lot of people think that so it's there. A lot of people think it's there. Thinking and is is two different things. I know. And so things. I'm saying. So if, because they think that it is, they feel that they are entitled. They feel that no, they, they own. No, they person shouldn't do certain things. If it is not talked about and agreed upon. I understand what you're matter. saying. But I'm saying huh? even if it's not talked so about ownership. and agreed upon. It's not ownership. Women do feel that they own the man that they're with in some degree and sense because if they didn't he would be able to do whatever he wanted to do and it wouldn't be no problem. He still can. That's by choice. Well, that's what I'm saying. They, most, most people can do whatever they want. Most most dudes are bitches, so it, it don't matter. <laughs> most, most men, okay, bae, it did you, 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 whatever. Tuck your tail between your legs and go home. See, but so that's a different that's for a different night obviously it's but not, I don't necessarily I'm... well I don't feel like just because a man I don't necessarily feel like just because a man either wants to be in a monogamous relationship or feels that by doing something so if he goes to have sex with another woman she don't feel like she owned that that part of him I mean if he's what do you, if he goes and have sex that's, with someone else does not him. do not women say why are you going and fuck someone else that's my dick no, that, do that's not my women. Man. Do, yes, that, that's exactly. My, that's my exactly. Man. My, thank you. <laughs> no, that, thank you. We had to do all of this. That's my man. No, that it's is, not ownership, though. I'm when saying you say that's, my, the, that's the man. When that, you say my, that is ownership. No, that's the man that 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 chose me I'm and I with chose him. him. I'm, yes, I'm with, I'm with her. him. Yes. You don't hear people say that. That's my man. That's my woman. That's my wife. That's my husband. Ownership. Yes, because they, because Let's it move is on. the person that you deemed no, no, that's to not be ownership. Control. No, control. Yeah, there's control. Exactly. You know what those are symptoms of? A narcissist. Mm. 